it is Alisa here or the Diamond Stitcher as I go by on YouTube and Instagram. Hello, good morning or good afternoon, whatever time it is you are watching this video. Thank you for stopping in. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you would consider subscribing and sticking around for all things diamond pinning. I try and post a couple videos a week while I still can and I would love to have you join the tribe. And if you're returning, thank you so much for your continued support. We have an unboxing here, or I should say a sneak peek. This is from Diamond Art Club. So first off, thank you Diamond Art Club for sending this uh, canvas to me to show everybody. Um, the artwork is absolutely gorgeous and I can't wait to show everybody what the image is. First off, we can see based on the blue branding, we are going to be having a square diamond painting. Let's reveal the image here. So this is called Dark Snow by artist Barrett Biggers. It is a 65 centimeter by 98 centimeter diamond painting, so it's on the larger size, and it is a square uh, diamond painting. If you are new to Diamond Art Club, I do have a code that you can use to get $10 off your very first order, and that's my name, A-L-Y-S-A-10, and that'll, again, get you $10 off your very first order with Diamond Art Club. If you're a returning customer, there are discount codes everywhere. Here's our first one of the unboxing. This is a, a QR code that you can scan with your phone camera that will unlock 10% off. There are discount codes absolutely everywhere, and there's going to be a few in this unboxing alone that uh, I will share with you guys. Can't wait to get into this. I've had this sitting here for a few days, waiting until I'm well enough to film, and I'm super excited to see this image uh, in big form <laughs> because I only have seen the image on the box. So um, once you open your Diamond Art Club boxes, you get three things. You get this little small sticker, a lot of people like using this in their paper logbook. I actually will use this for storage purposes, so I either stick it right on this plastic sleeve. If I'm storing my diamond painting without the box, if I'm keeping the box, I put it just on the end of the box here. That way I know what diamond painting I'm going to grab when I am going to get my next whip or work in pro progress. It has all the information on it, Dark Snow by the artist Barrett Biggers, and here's the, the information again here. Really hard to see the detail in this image uh, in such a small form. So let's uh, get into the toolkit next. We've got green, let's see. So in your Diamond Art Club toolkits, you're going to get everything you need to diamond paint and then some. So we get our basic pen, has a little single placer. We also get a comfort squishy that we can twist on there. And we get multi-placers, we get two of them. We get a thin four and a seven placer. A lot of people like these thin plastic placers. If you like using these, I would recommend you try Diamond Art Club's new thin metal multi-placers. They work really well and they're about the similar width as that. We also get a matching washi tape, which is really pretty. I haven't seen this one yet. Bunch of flowers on there. There are a few different uses for washi tape. Uh, most commonly people use it to uh, border off the canvas if there's any excess glue hanging over the side or to section off their canvas in grids. I do have a video explaining uh, uses of washi tape more in depth in my tips and tricks playlist section if you wish to watch. This is a new rose. I have not yet seen a flower quite like this one. This is pretty purple. This is a cover minder, so it comes with one magnet glued on, the other one freestanding. This little flower will go on top of your canvas. The free magnet goes underneath, and what it's used for is to help hold black back the plastic cover when you're diamond painting, or I use it to secure release papers. If I'm not quite done a section and that release paper won't stick, I use those cover minders for that. We also get two plates of heart-shaped wax. Whoops. There is a protective cover on both sides, so make sure you just peel that back before you try and load your pen, otherwise you're gonna struggle. <laughs> and then we also get our basic Diamond Art Club white tray, and it comes with this plastic piece here, which is called a stopper. It just fits in the spout there, so when you shake your diamonds, you're not having them fly out, so that's neat. And then we have a bag of baggies. These are handy if you save any leftover diamonds or if you, um, you know, run out of room in your containers and you need some, some baggies to um, store those diamonds. Let me put all of this stuff back. I should say too, tweezers. Tweezers always come with square diamond painting kits. These are their black branded tweezers. They are very sharp, so be careful and keep this plastic cover on them when you're not using them. 
Again, they only come in square diamond painting kits. So if you buy a round diamond painting kit and you're wondering why there's no tweezers, that's why. Uh, some people use tweezers to place the diamonds. Uh, much more difficult placing rounds with tweezers than squares, but um, I actually use tweezers to pop off diamonds if I've misplaced them or if I want to swap them out for any special diamonds. Here we have our Diamond Art Club canvas and our beads are in this bag too. This is usually a resealable bag. It just depends how sticky this tape is here. Let's take a look. I'm excited to see this canvas because, you know, it's so detailed. It's so hard to see all the details in such a small image. So I'm excited now. It's going to be a big one. It's going to be really hard for me to get it all in frame, but we are going to do our best. I will eventually pan over it and um, probably get my husband's help to take a, a full picture of the image as well. Once we unroll our diamond painting canvas, we have a few things. Let's go over this first. If you are new to Diamond Art Club, they do send in a thank you for your purchase brochure with a quick note from the founder of the company. We have a list of what to expect inside this kit in a couple different languages. We've got our tips and tricks. Here is another discount code, another 10% off your next purchase. In the middle here, we have a QR code that will take you to Diamond Art Club step-by-step -step video on how to diamond paint. I also have beginner videos in my tips and tricks playlist section, including how to diamond paint for beginners and tips on multi-placing and working with squares. Down here is the QR code to their VIP Facebook group. So that group is for paying customers only. A thing to note is if your Diamond Art Club account differs from your Facebook name, you may need to reach out to support at diamondartclub.com and let them know so that they can uh, verify you are you before they allow you to enter the group. So just keep that in mind. It's a great resource to see uh, sneak peeks, uh, other people working on canvases, and just general, general uh, great community. And step by step, sorry, step by step instructions over here in a few different languages as well. And then on the back, they do have uh, two QR codes for your respective device where you can get 20% off your very first purchase through their app. So they do, uh, you can buy from Diamond Art Club on their website, diamondartclub.com, and then they also have an app that you can purchase from. Here is the big sticker. Now let me just kind of flatten this out a little bit. So I love their sticker sheets. All of these labels are individually cut and peelable. So all you, do, all you have to do is peel and stick onto your containers or your baggies, however you like to kit up. This is the image that I will use in my paper logbook. I like this image because it's much bigger and you can see the detail a little more. And uh, yeah, I love using this image in my logbook. So Dark Snow by Barrett Biggers. Here are the dimensions again at the bottom. If you missed it, 65 centimeter by 98 centimeter diamond painting. We have 60 colors. And at the top here, any number under 150 with Diamond Art Club is going to be an AB diamond. So we have two. We have 134 and 141. I will show you what an AB diamond is and where they go once we open this kit. And then at the bottom here is where Diamond Art Club puts their other special diamonds. And I know uh, from experience that Z is fairy dust. So we have two fairy dust diamonds, uh, 720 and 775s. Fairy dust diamonds are different than ABs. And I will show you again when we go through the diamonds there. But here is that picture. Such uh, a detailed painting. You can see over here, there is a deer in the background. They've got the path to the poison apple in the middle here. There's a mirror in the middle with, I think, the Wicked Witch kind of in the, in the reflection. And then here we have, I assume, a sleeping Snow White. Isn't that gorgeous with the flowers around the outside too? Amazing. Uh, let's look at this canvas. Diamond Art Club canvases are poured glue and they're high quality, so you can roll them backwards. Rolling it back on itself, all it does is just help it lay a little bit flatter. So I'm going to quickly do that here. I hope everybody is having a wonderful day. We are starting to get some fall type weather in my part of Canada and oh boy, I'm not liking it. I hope the sun stays a little bit longer. So again, I'm not gonna be able to get everything in frame at once, but we are gonna go through this canvas. Look at those colors first off that just pop off the canvas. Absolutely gorgeous. 
I'm just taking a look at the uh, rendering or the charting and I'm loving it. There's lots of color blocking in this kit as well as areas of confetti. I will explain that a little bit more once we um, move through the canvas. At the top here, we have their branding, Do What Makes You Sparkle, Diamond Art Club. Their edges are scalloped and frayed. That helps prevent any uh, fraying of the canvas. That being said, I have cut down the borders on all my diamond paintings from Diamond Art Club. And um, that's just how I finish them off and they never fray. So very high quality canvas. We have a schematic on the top left here. We also will have one down here on the bottom right. So you have two. On the bottom here, they have their little thumbnail. Pasting area refers to the area where there's diamonds or where the glue is. And then again, all of our information. So the name of the artwork, the size, and who the artist is, and it's copyrighted. Diamond Art Club only sells legally licensed artwork. That means their artists not only gave permission for the use of their artwork as a diamond painting, but they're also being fairly compensated, which is really important in the diamond painting community, or art community in general, I should say. Down here we have yet another discount code, another take 10 for 10% off your next order. And then down here we'll, you'll see Diamond Art Club's business pages. Make sure you're also following them there. That's where they actually will do their sneak peeks for the week. So we start seeing new releases coming on usually Monday or Tuesday. And then over here on this side, sorry, it's hard to, to bend a canvas like this. Uh, lifetime warranty, so that covers any issues with your canvas as long as you are the original purchaser. You know, you might run out of diamonds or have uh, some issues with the glue or the canvas, anything like that. If you are the original purchaser, reach out to support at diamondartclub.com and they will get you taken care of. Now, I think what I'm going to do next is I'm going to pan over the canvas so you guys can see all the details up close. So I'm just going to have to move things around and bear with me. Now let's hear a quick word from the artist. Hey everyone, my name is Bear Biggers. I'm the artist behind the darkest snow piece you're seeing here. I like to focus my art on darker surrealism and fantasy. I also always incorporate nature. I have a biology degree and a love of nature and a lot of my art reflects that. I like to create very realistic, deep compositions, almost as if they're a movie poster or a storytelling piece which works out great for this piece because it's my take on the Snow White story. And um, I focused on different elements from the story, like the apple, the apple blossoms and the huntsman and all that. And uh, this is just my original take on it. I like to use a lot of textures and very kind of a deeper, almost muted uh, color palette. I also enjoy being able to mix and experiment on things kind of on the fly. So it's real fun. I hope you enjoy it. You can see my art at barrettbiggers.com and you can also find me on Instagram at barrettbiggers or TikTok um, at barrettbiggers as well. So thank you very much. Thank you so much, Barrett, for taking the time to send over that message that I could share with everybody. I always love hearing the artist's interpretation of their own artwork. So thank you very much for taking the time to do that. Let's continue on with the sneak peek. I hope that you were able to see everything in its entirety during that pan over there. Lots of little details in this diamond painting. Lots of mix of color blocking and confetti. So all of the black in this canvas, which is the silhouette of snow here, you can see this, these dots here is black. Um, there's other colors like browns and deep grays mixed in there too. That's all considered color blocking where you have a lot of the same color in an area. You can use your multi-placer more. Uh, confetti, for example, is the top over here corner where you have lots of change out 
uh, in your color, you're probably going to be using a smaller multi-placer or single placing more often. I love canvases with a good mix. It keeps it interesting while also keep it, keeping it moving. Uh, so I do like canvases that have a good mix. So I'm really happy to see that in this one. Let's take a look at the diamonds. Diamond Art Clothes diamonds come in this package. It is labeled if you do decide to separate your canvas from your diamonds for some reason. They are labeled, which is nice. Now I'm just going to fast forward through the big crinkle here. Now Diamond Art Club's diamonds are not sorted in numerical order. They're actually sorted by weight. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab a strip and we are going to go. I know some of you like knowing exactly which DMC numbers are in this kit. So I do go over them for, for some of you guys. Uh, we've got 924. 3835, 931, uh, Z775. So that's our first fairy dust diamond. It's a blue diamond. You can kind of see a little bit of the shimmer. It's a very fine uh, glittery or mica powder type um, coating on the very top of the diamonds. It's absolutely beautiful when it's down on the canvas. I will show you where that's going to go uh, once we get through all these diamonds. We've got 904. 807, 932, 640, 930, 414, 169, 869, 355, 905, 3347, 319, 316, 646, and 647. Let me just pull out this fairy dust diamond so I remember where it is. Here we've got another strip, so we've got 3752, and then we have our first AB here. You can really see that coating in this one. It's really showing off blue. Well, actually, you can see the rainbow. So AB stands for Aurora Borealis, which stands for the Northern Lights. It has this very shiny coating on the top of the diamond that, depending on the way the light hits it, it'll shine like the Northern Lights. So we've got 134. Um, back to regular DMC, 3829, 3727, 165, 819. 597, 166, 3822, 818, 645, 3852, 907, 927, 3820, 3756, 3072, 744, 3362, and 353. Let me just pull out this one. We've got 3821. We've got two bags of 3834, a beautiful purple. We've got two bags of 815, a beautiful kind of red or magenta. 3346, 433. We have two bags of 141. This is our other AB in this kit. Probably one of the most common ABs we see is the white one. 844, 3345, two bags of 3823. Z720. This is a new one for me. I've never seen an orange fairy dust diamond. So this is the one with the shiny glittery coating on the top. It's going to be hard to see because this is packed full of them. 3853, 3799. There's two bags of that. We've got 900, 898, and 3371. We've got our Z and our white. Okay, long strips here. So we've got three bags of 3371, which is a very deep brown. We've got a 3857, 977, and a bright 304. Now, anybody want to guess how many bags of 310 we have? Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 bags of 310. Wow, crazy. Amazing. 13 bags. And our last uh, DMC is 3855. That is, this is probably the most 310 that painting that I I will have ever done is this one. But I love it because all of the black is all color blocking. I can use my multi-placer and it's going to fly by fast. Now, the important part, where do these special diamonds go? So, let's do these two first. So, we've got AB1 for one, which is the white. And then we'll look at Z720, which is the orange. 141 is um, the white with the little dot. So I do see it scattered. So I'm just kind of going to follow along with my finger 
all these, the white outlining these kind of flowers up here, you're going to see that white AB around here, through here, through here. There's a spot of it right here, through here, up through here. It's just accenting where you would think the light would be shining off of these elements, right? Again, it's so hard when you have such a big canvas all through here. Just highlighting all the areas. I'll hold it up so you can kind of see. I wish I had three hands, as I always say. That white uh, square with a little dot, or it's actually a square in the middle, um, is that, that white AB. We've got some in the, the face of the reflection in the mirror. And then we have some down in through these flower. I love this flower down here. It's gorgeous. And over here too. And we've got just some outlining the petals of the different flowers. So that's the white AB. Now the fairy dust was the, the orange one, 720. That's a boat or what I call a boat. So the fairy dust is going to be scattered all over the place too. It's all in here in the orange. So the symbol I'm talking about is um, here. Let me, this is easier. This symbol, 59. I don't know if it, it's not even a boat. I don't know why I said a boat, but um, it's scattered all through, just outlining all the orange that you see in the uh, painting down here. And they do have some over here as well, coming up the side where you're seeing the orange. It's just all mixed in. They do a really good job at rendering the special diamonds, I find, to, to be in places that really accent the painting. We've got some in the apple as well. That's going to look really neat. And we are back up here where I'm seeing a lot of orange. So let's see where we have some. We've got a bit over here in this orange element. There's some in, in this path that kind of goes down to the apple. A little bit up in here, a little bit here. And then I think we're going to have a bunch, yeah, a bunch over here in the orange uh, as well. We also had a green AB, which is 134, very pretty. And the last special diamond was this blue fairy dust. So let's do blue fairy dust is the downward arrow. So I see some up through here. There's a blue kind of element right here. I said the down arrow, yeah. There's all through here a little bit. Kind of what I think outlining the sky, right? Different reflections from the sky. I also see some down here. So going through here, down there. And I see a little bit in the flower in the bottom um, right over here, a little bit here. Not much, it's a small bag of blue fairy dust. And then the green AB is our last one, which is number one. So let's just start down here since we are here. Do I see it in the leaves? I'm not seeing it in the leaves down here. Any down here? No, but it starts up here. So up here in the brighter green leaves is where you'll start to see that green AB. We've got some up here too. And then on this side, we have all of this bright green here has some of that AB mixed in again just to highlight the different areas. All through here just mixed in the green some through here as well. A little in the top corner up here here if I didn't already point to there this green area there. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So a good sprinkling throughout, mostly the florals, I think, with the ABs and the path here with the orange uh, fairy dust diamonds. That'll be really interesting because I've never worked with uh, orange fairy dust diamonds. I just love the, um, the effect of the fairy dust diamonds, so I can't wait to see how they work up. I love how these flowers were rendered here. I think they're going to turn out so lovely. I love flowers. Any painting with flowers, I'm for. 
Awards. After filming the original uh, video for this, I noticed Diamond Art Club posted on their socials this diamond painting completed with all the diamonds down. I thought I would go back and insert this photo so that you guys could see what it will look like once the diamonds are all laid down. I also want to mention right in front of the screen at the bottom center is a little cabin that I totally missed <laughs> when I was doing the sneak peek. It wasn't until after that I'm like, wait a minute, there's a little cabin here too. So I uh, just wanted to point that out. Anyways, let's uh, take a look at the photo. Again, this diamond painting is called Dark Snow. The artist is Barrett Biggers, 65 by 98 centimeters, so it's a big boy, but it's got a good mix of color blocking and confetti. I think it's going to work up nicely and it's going to be fun to work on. So this diamond painting will release on August 26th, which is Saturday. If you are part of the diamond or ruby rewards tier, you will get uh, early access, which is about 9 a.m. Pacific or 12 p.m. Eastern. They actually send out the email a little bit earlier than that sometimes. I find I get mine on Pacific time. I get my email around 8.45 and you can click the link and purchase right away. And then general release as always is at 9.30 a.m. Pacific or 12.30 uh, p.m. Eastern. Okay. Um, sometimes diamond paintings do sell out for a variety of different reasons. So if it's something you must have, make sure you do check your email about 30 to 45 minutes before general release. That way you can uh, click the links and purchase it. Um, if something does sell out, you can always sign up for email notifications and uh, they will notify you when they do restock. Diamond Art Club does restock a lot of their diamond paintings, especially ones that are super popular, which tend to sell out faster, right? So don't be discouraged if that happens, but um, I am excited to start this painting. Uh, when am I going to do it? I don't know. This almost would be good for fall as well. It's got some nice oranges and, and kind of fall type colors. And the story is kind of based in the forest, right? I don't know. I have a few paintings on my list that I wanted to do for kind of the fall Halloween season. So I have to make decisions here. But I can't wait to work on this painting nonetheless. I absolutely love how this artist um, creates his artwork. I think it's very unique. And it turns out really stunning as a diamond painting. So I can't wait. Let me know down below if you are going to pick up this painting. Also, let me know if you have any questions. If I didn't go over something or you want to know something more in depth, let me know in the comment section. I do check the comments during the day once this video goes up, just in case somebody has a question they want answered before they decide to purchase a painting. So do leave comments. I will check them. Uh, otherwise, let me know what other new releases you are also looking at this week. At time of filming, I don't know what else is releasing, so I can't can't tell you what I want. But um, yeah, let me know all of the things down below. Let me know how you're doing as well. Uh, if you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping in. I'd really love it if you'd hit that subscribe button, stick around, uh, join our tribe here. We we uh, foster a great community and. Um, not only in the YouTube channel here, but also in my Facebook group, Licensed DP Fans Canada, where everybody is welcome to join as well. I hope you all have a wonderful uh, day, night, evening, whatever time it is for you. And until the next video, happy diamond painting. Bye.